Hello, and uh, welcome to Birdman's channel. Before I start, uh, a few people have uh, queried different time as to why my username is Birdman, and they think it's uh, a saucy, some so a saucy uh, connection, but uh, I can assure you it's not. Uh, Birdman is the old Roman name for Barnstable. Barnstable is my hometown. Uh, Barnstable is in North Devon in the United Kingdom. The, in fact, the dead centre of the universe. Nice place to live. Like it here. Anyway, uh, that's beside the point. I thought I'd mention that. Now then, um, this little video is to explain what the little brass item is on the side of my TMG generator that I showed on a previous video. Um, the thing is, uh, the, the power, uh, unlike any, most or any other engine from, from what I know, is uh, they use pistons, don't they? Well, pistons have, uh, they always have a slight amount of leakage and all the rest of it. Well, with a Stirling cycle engine, um, you don't want very much uh, leakage, uh, but on the other hand, you have to keep the friction down, and uh, so it's a it's a problem really. Uh, uh, but anyway, um, the TMJ overcame this problem by using a di diaphragm, and here's a diaphragm. Here's one of the diaphragms that I use on one of my engines, and this here is five thousandths of an inch thick. Beryllium copper. I pressed a cor slight corrugation in it. The problem with beryllium copper, it is a spring material. It's a hard from from what I I think it's the hardest non-ferrous metal. And it's very springy, so it's very difficult to, to form because it you bend it and it springs springs back again. You see. So so anyway, the thing is. With a um, the, the say a brilliant copper diaphragm, it's sealed with O-rings, and so it's hermetically sealed. There's so the air that's trapped inside the displacer chamber, the air is trapped in there. It cannot get out. Like as if you had a piston, it would gradually leak out. But with a with the diaphragm, it can't. You see. So when you warm the, the initial warm-up period, the um, the, the air um, expands in the air chamber and it pushes the diaphragm out. So the diaphragm becomes very stressed before you even start it. You see, so what you have to do is relieve this pressure. You, what you need is, ideally, is the same pressure on both sides of the, the diaphragm before things start working. So uh, the, the, the idea of this little uh, brass uh, gadget on the side is all it is really is um, a um, a needle valve, and what it does is leaks a very small, a minute amount of air from the working cylinder up to the top of the the, the diaphragm, so that uh, to to equalise the pressure. But uh, it's got to be a very small leak because otherwise you. You, there's not much power available to start with, so you, you can't afford to lose any, really. So uh, there's a very small leak, just enough to keep the diaphragm at mean pressure. So, so you have the, otherwise, otherwise the diaphragm, when if you've got all the pressure on the bottom, it pushes it up and it pushes the magnets up against the pole pieces. So that's that's no good. That, that's a problem. I've had quite a few inquiries to towns from people. Attempting to make it, uh, and they've had this problem, and, and they, they they didn't know the the, um, the solution. So uh, that, that that's my solution anyway. So uh, it seems to work right. Well, the thing is, um, many years ago, I was fortunate in meeting Mr. Cook Yarbrough, the inventor of the Hor He he was a very clever scientist. Worked for Harwell Atomic Energy Authority. You see, so um, anyway, I, I, I met him and he gave me this. It's a little leaflet here, 
about a um, about the the TMG, and it um, it was going to be produced commercially. Well, I don't think it was a commercial success, but um, they, they they did. Uh, I, I know that one went out into the ocean somewhere on on a weather uh, buoy. And you will see, I've, 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 uh, I've put the pages of this little leaflet on here. I hope I'm not going to upset anybody with uh, copyright, etc. But I've put some um, pictures on here on the end of this video. The last picture is a picture of the weather boy, which was given me by Mr. Mr. Bill Andrews. And Mr. Bill Andrews was a diver who used to go out into the ocean to service the TMGs. He'd go out there and uh, I suppose replenish the, the helium bottles and also the, the propane bottles. For uh, But anyway, he, he was a diver. But anyway, Mr. Bill Andrews gave me this photograph many years ago. I've, I've tried to contact him to get his permission to use the photograph. I, unfortunately, I've been unable to contact him. So, um, I, so I hope he won't be offended by me using it. I've, tr I've tried to, to contact him and uh, without any success. So, um, so there I, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, <laughs> and, and I hope also that the, this, uh, the actual um, um, leaflet isn't copyright any longer. I, I doubt that it is. It's, it goes back a long way now. So um, I, I, I wouldn't think there's any any problems there. Uh, so anyway, that, that's that's the, um, the the reason for this little video. I, I hope it's uh, I hope it's clear to you now. By the way, there's some there's some nice pictures here that uh, will give you s some ideas of uh, of how it works. Yeah, thank thank you very much for watching. Uh, bye.